Hello guys, my friends on YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe if you like my channel and videos, of course. Would be appreciated. And I hope you had a great start of the new year. And we really do hope that this year is going to be even better than the previous year. Even though uh, I may not make the best of videos, but I have my idea of, of doing them, so, in my way. <laughs> So, um, well, it's not really all that scary, so it would be nice to see some new ones, new channels uploading a bit to YouTube as well. Because I've seen that there are really some good growing going on out there. And people not showing their orchids. And I feel that that's a pity. It would be really nice to see your growing areas and greenhouses and and stuff, and how you do it, and how you care for them. It's really not all that difficult to upload a short video. It doesn't need to be all that great and advanced in any way. It's just nice to see it. So let's hope for some new orchid channels out there this year. This video is going to be about my karge. <laughs> I don't know how it's pronounced, but. In Sweden we call it Karge, Orchidin in Germany. A six month update on my haul. So guys, let's start by looking at the RLC Shengfeng Apple Chief Jade. Yeah, this one should be flowering size. Well, it's quite wet here. Yeah. So, maybe they are shipped a little bit wet. But doesn't matter. It's on, a, on an old suitable. I don't know why I got another one, exactly the same variety, but I, I just figured this one could be a little bit larger. Well, here she is today. Huh, she looks healthy enough, I think. I transitioned her in my report or not report video on my cargo orchids. I will link to that video as well to the haul, of course. My cargo haul. Um, yeah, she hasn't caught any scale. And that's amazing, since a cousin, <laughs> my second of the same variety in my collection, has been attacked by scales so many times. So I thought this one would go the same way, but she didn't. And that's nice, and her new growth is here. Not the best of growth, but still not all that bad either. Good color, and... Reported into semi hydroponics. Soft reported, I think. I better look it up. Yeah, six months ago. Yeah, I transitioned her into semi hydro in September. So it's only four months ago. So, well, this is not a, well, it's not a good progress, but still. Uh, it arrived in a large pot in moss and bark to the bottom. A lot of algaes and a leaf that was really really destroyed by mold. Yeah, it had, uh, it was on its way of rotting off. Um, the edge to this leaf as well was all bent and damaged. So let's just wait for some good roots to appear. She produces her roots after her newest growth has matured I believe. If I remember it correctly. And I guess you want to see my old plant, the same variety. Oral seed, Shangfeng Apple Jade from Swarta. <laughs> By buying this one, I thought this one would be a larger sized one than this one, and that it probably would bloom in a near future. But I couldn't be more wrong. This one is almost on its way to become mature. I got this one as a really, really young plant. And now look at her new pseudobulbs. This is amazing progress. And now she's scale free as well. After being treated with this fatty spray, shall I say, leaf shine. So, the scale. Really didn't like it. 
and stayed away. So let's hope for some new progress on this guy. This guy's root system is amazing, so I know what this kind of orchid, this variety, can produce if healthy enough and growing well. So, this one was a little bit poorer, but just still coming on, I believe. It's in a hanging basket and it's quite large sized. Perhaps. Is it really? No, cannot be. Well, let's hope for it not to be broken. And if I touch it even more, it surely will be broken. So I just better let it, yeah, just leave it be and see what happens. Would be a pity if it's broken. Quite an expensive one, so you better not be broken. But what on earth is it? I mean, it's hanging on to this uh, really thin thread. This is crazy. Well, all right. Um, maybe put some uh, tape around it. <laughs> yeah, just to secure it a bit. So as you saw, the Epidendrum Parkinsonianum arrived with only these two guys and created a new growth, which uh, unfortunately was covered with scale not long after being produced and it rotted off. It didn't end there, so good roots coming out from this uh, broken, somewhat partially broken cane. But it produced this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. So it's coming on, really, it is. But I think it's kind of far from uh, blooming. I will have to, yeah, I will need to give this one better amount of light, a lot more light. And it was also visited by scale. But it's, um, yeah, a little bit here, but not so much anymore. So I did a soft reporting on this one. And the root system was really, and is still, really amazing. So I decided not to release it from its bag moss. And just uh, put it into this hanging basket. With a bit of bark around it. So, this one is going to stay in here. And be giving so much more light <laughs> from now on. I will try to give it as, uh, at least, yes. But, yeah, five new growth, not so bad, really. Uh, RLC Denard Blue Heaven. And this cutlea is a lovely cutlea. But it didn't say in the web shop if it, if it was a flowering size or, or not. I just assumed that it was flowering size, unless this one is the smallest cutlea there is. All right? So now you know what it looked like. It had bad roots when I got it. And a new growth coming on. And it arrived in a large pot with some moss. And I repotted it into a smaller pot with some new fresh moss. In hope for it to uh, create some new roots. Yeah, you can see it's dying. Maybe this one had fusarium. I just say maybe. Yeah, this, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. This just happened the last couple of days, so. But it looked real dried out, the leaves. And <laughs> it's a wonder how the leaves really stayed in that kind of uh, shape, dry shape, if, without turning brown and fall off for all that yeah, amount of time, really. So it struggled on, but bad roots, it said. Let's look at the roots today. If there really are any roots at all, or if it's due to the bin now, I wouldn't want to have any fungus, fusarium, orchids in my collection. Uh, it has not yet spread, at least. But, um, yeah. Bad roots, yeah. Yeah, this root is dead. It's coming out from this. Look, only the venom is 
still there. This root is so uh, dead. Only venomous. Yeah, this one is soft. Yeah. It's really nothing to save this plant. And it's a pity. Since I've never seen this one before. And I bet I won't see it either. But this one is nothing to save. This new growth has been there for six months and it's still not producing any roots. So maybe it's Fusarium. But it's a little bit too poor and a little bit too, um, shall we say, um, it's not much to cut. I mean, I can cut over the rhizome and look and see if I can find the purple ugly ring. Hmm, let's see here. But I don't believe that there's enough material to, um, to see what's going on. There's a little bumpy here. Oh, I'm not sure what to do with this one. This one is so rare. I wouldn't want to... Uh, I don't want to get rid of it. But I still do not think that there's going to be any more life in this one. If this one doesn't create a new root system. In the next couple of days, really. Or so. But yeah, could be some life here. Two bumps, two eyes, so to speak. Well, really, guys, um, I may just as well keep this one in a mug, a little bit separate to the from the other ones. But I don't have much of hope and expectations for this one to survive. But let's just give it a go. Let's see what happens. And the mug treatment is here in my bathroom. Let the beads and water. Well, when I'm at it, why not make it a little bit more pop? <laughs> Fancy. Into a plastic wine glass. And add some water to the bottom. Yeah. At least this glass is stable and a little bit more heavy. And I will put it here. Somewhere. Here it is now. Cattleya cup for prints. This one should have two years to flowering size. And well, <laughs> maybe. No, this cannot be a sheath. Well, maybe, already, but well, perhaps this is one is going to develop into a uh, a second leaf here. But we shall see. Yeah. Two years to flowering size, but uh, yeah, perhaps. Ah, it's going to grow on. So what did I do with the Ketlia cup for prints? Well, it arrived in bark, in a small pot, with two new growth on the way. Good roots as well and I repotted it quite immediately into bark and rock wool. And here she is. Uh, this one wasn't a uh, sheath. It's a second leaf which has not yet opened <laughs> for six months so I believe this is due to humidity. But overall she's still a good plant. And I just water her, and her roots are many in numbers, really. And fresh new root tips, green root tips, a marvelous root system. Yeah, <laughs> up here as well. So, at this moment, I could transition her into some hydro, but I will wait for her to be a little bit more mature. Really, it's this media contains some more amount of moisture, so it's added rock wool to it. So it might as well just stay in here. It's doing so well, 
but now I would need her to grow a little bit faster. But I, yeah, it's a better plant now, developing nicely. Glad I got it. Yeah, it's a good size Pepheopellum. And this one is, yay! Pepheopellum Rosedawn. It's a Pepheopellum lie. I've decided for quite a long time, so lovely white flowers. But yeah, it's a, it's a nice sized one. I like it. Let's see if there's anything coming. Of course, a new growth here. Yeah, and it's been blooming, so it's blooming size. Well, it's a pity it wasn't a bud instead. But you can't win them all, can you? It's a lovely size one, maybe. And perhaps this one is going to bloom for us. So, what did I do with the Rosy Dawn? I know a little bit more about how to care for it properly than I did back then. But uh, this one is a healthy plant. And I didn't repot it immediately. In fact, I waited until the end of November and I used the Swarte Pafiopedalum mix, orchid mix and I even reported her together with you in my Pafiopedalum Slip Orchid Care collab at the end of November, I think. I can link that video as well so we can look at her gorgeous root system. And one and a half months later she looks like this. It's hybrid. And I can brag about that I think that her root system is still alive and kicking. Otherwise, she wouldn't be having this gorgeous silky Beautiful foliage. New growth coming out here. And from this growth she didn't bloom, unfortunately. Since I reported her, she created these guys. So she's really coming on nicely. And this old fan, which she bloomed from, is on its way. But it really doesn't matter. I just need her to be a little bit more stabilized into a pot. I would like her to be a little bit more upright, so let's achieve it. Yeah, this is the way it's going to be. Now I'm supporting her a bit, so she will grow this fan a little bit more upright to look a little bit more proper and nice. But look at her foliage. I don't spray her or anything, it's just the way she is right now. And this is good progress, and I. I cannot wait for this one to bloom. Just watered. Oh my, oh dear. Oh, what a monster. <laughs> Quite large. The case looks a little bit like my tetragonum, like this. And the flowers are variable. So what about the Dendrobium stubbly dinosaur today? Firstly, I would like to tell you what I did with it. When I got it, I made a soft repotting and it was really pop bound in moss. And I placed her into a larger container, a hanging basket with bark and some rock wool around it. So I really didn't do a proper repotting on this guy. This is what it looks like today. And it's progressing, really. I, yeah, this guy had to create a couple of bad growth, new growth here. Weak, yellowish ones. Before it was acclimatized here in my conditions. And growing these guys, new canes here, a lot better. A little sheath there may come something good out of that one. Um, producing its canes inside, of the, in, into the middle of the plant. <laughs> but still, they are a lot better. This one even caught scale. Yeah, why not? I have my orchids a little bit too close to one another. So, 
they work as a bridge to transport the scale over to the fellow sitting next to it. But this one has been in bloom, but not in my care yet. And this one is a Littorio type. Really, really nice looking blooms. So I must say that he's doing a lot better. But it took a couple of months for him to really, really adapt. And now he's staying up here to the top shelf of my kitchen fan. <laughs> and I also put my macrofilm, my second large Littoria type Dendrobium orchid up here. And he's doing so great. So, well, why not? <laughs> Now at least I can keep track of them and see what happens, all right? But I'm waiting for some blooms and maybe one day there will be some. All right, guys, that was the update on my Kage Orchidin Orchid Hall, my six month update. And I hope you enjoyed this little video, which turned out to be quite long as usual, but better just get used to it. <laughs> yeah, all right. Until I'll see you next time, take care, make sure to subscribe and perhaps like this video if you did. <laughs> and I can recommend Carrigan, of course, and I will make another haul, another purchase from them when the weather forecast is a bit milder again. Alright, see you next week. Bye bye guys, take care.